Hello, my beautiful souls. Okay, so before we get started with your reading, I just want to share with you a fascinating website I was recently introduced to that helps you discover how compatible you are in relationships, how others perceive you, and also explains how to fully understand your natal chart through astrology and numerology. There is a ton of information waiting for you on this site to help you better understand love, your path, and to help you improve your life. I got my charts done and it is amazingly accurate and extremely informative. The website is called trulydivine.com and they are offering a 30% off discount for all of my subscribers. All you have to do is use code ZEN30 at checkout to receive your discount. I will provide the link and code in the description box below. So peace and love and happy learning. Now let's get started with your reading. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Virgo Sun Moon Rising. Okay, so I just want to make an announcement before we get started. Peeps, we are almost at 10,000 subscribers. As of now, let's see, we have what, 9,760, so 240 more to go. My goal is to have that complete by the end of this month. So come on, guys, if you haven't subscribed already, please click that subscribe button. I'm so excited to hit the double digits. Okay, so what's in it for you if you subscribe, besides the fact that you get these amazing free weekly readings, okay? I do love readings on a weekly basis. Um, I usually post three readings a day between um, Monday and Thursday. So just look out for your sign. I take the weekends off because I have a lot of um, clients that I do work for and readings for. So if you're interested in any per private readings or spell work, go to zenwithemme.com and I have a whole bunch of information for you there. But as far as the um, giveaway goes, so I'm giving away three free readings, winner's choice. All you have to do is subscribe, Go to my community tab, look for the post that says giveaway and comment on that post. Only the posts that, ha uh, that post that has comments on it are the people that are in the giveaway. And I will announce the winner as soon as we hit 10,000 subscribers on that same post, okay? So click the bell once you subscribe so you're also updated and just keep checking back at that post. Um, also, what do you get as staying as a subscriber to this lovely channel? I give a daily blessing, yes, daily, to all of my subscribers and all of my clients. So when you're a subscriber and a client, you get double blessings on a daily basis, okay? So it's a win-win for you. Free readings, double blessings, you can't go wrong. Okay, so without further ado, my Virgos, let's get into it. Okay, guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear what the hell happened there. Please give me clear and concise messages for Virgo Sun Moon Rising regarding their love life at this time. Okay, what does Virgo need to know regarding their love life at this time? What love messages do we have for Virgo? Okay, what do they need to know? What secrets need to be revealed for those that may be dealing with a secret? Please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I also have some playlists available if you guys want to check out the playlists. Okay, so we have Judgment here. King of Cups. Okay, so you may be dealing with a water sign person. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And there may be some judgment happening here. Okay, let's see. One more card, please. What's going on with Virgo's love life? Okay, last shuffle. Any other tarot messages for Virgo? That's it. You got these two. So if you're not dealing with someone that's a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, they may just have that energy of being very emotional, very in love. Okay. And like I said here with some judgment, this could be karma, a rebirth in your favor, dormant matters coming back to life or somebody going through some kind of enlightenment or spiritual awakening or some kind of judgment being passed here. Okay. It's going to be different for everybody watching because you're all on a different path, living a different life. So however it resonates with you. All right, so let's see. What messages do we have for Virgo from their person? And this could also be your energy. If you're in love with this person or very emotional over this situation that's happening, this could be your energy. Because like I said, 
doesn't have to be a water sign. It could be that energy. Okay, so what message do we have for Virgo from their person? <clears throat> okay. All right, thank you. Okay, so we have here life purpose. So you feel that this person is your soulmate. This is the person that you are meant to be with. And you've accepted that. You're fine with it. Like, you're happy about it. And some communication needs to happen here. So there, something has happened with this judgment, this enlightenment, this karma, or something a dormant coming back around that you need to talk about. Okay, something needs to be communicated and accepted here if you want to continue on this journey with this person for life. Okay. Those of you that this resonates with, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so they're actually telling you this because this is what messages do we have for you from your person they're saying like okay like i can accept this but we need to talk about it whatever it is like once we talk about it then at least we can i can accept it and we can move on or you can accept it and then we can move on the energy can always be switched okay so if you're like well this isn't them it's me okay well then it's you that's okay okay so what other messages do we have for virgo here Regarding their love life and this reading at this time, please. And also keep in mind, this is a timeless reading. So it is meant to come to you whenever you find this video. It doesn't have to be within the week that it's posted. Okay. Purpose. Okay. You possess the determination and de dedication to consciously demonstrate love individuality you leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do now if this is not you this is the person that you're dealing with okay and empathy you feel and understand the emotions of another in the service of love so this could be why there's acceptance because there is empathy there there is a purpose here life purpose okay you guys are meant to work this out whatever it is you guys are meant to to be together as lifelong partners so somebody may have somebody may have either gone off on their own or somebody is in that mindset that they have to do things themselves and this person whether it's you or their energy is saying like no we can do this together let's talk about this you don't have to do everything by yourself you're not alone okay we're partners and you need to accept that so that we can continue on this path, okay? So some people are thinking that they have to, like they feel alone, they feel they have to do things alone, they, they're doing everything as an individual, it's all like I, 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 instead of we, 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 okay? We, 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 sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> okay, I'm a goofball, guys. It's better than being a sourpuss. Okay, so what other messages do we have for Virgo regarding their love life at this time, please? Okay, what other messages do we have for Virgo? Okay. Okay, last shuffle. What other messages do we have for Virgo regarding their love life? Okay, went from like one to a ton. Okay, so the first one that came out is stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and shocking attack. Okay, so something happens here. That This is what's going on with judgment for some of you. Somebody is feeling stabbed in the back. Some heartbreak and pain was created. Some shocking attack. Okay. Let's see. Then we have here mirror also flipped. Mirroring each other. Self-image, relationships reflect our wounds and introspection, okay? So it could be something like, like I said, something from the past coming back to haunt you. Reflecting our wounds. Something maybe with someone's self-image of feeling they need to be an individual for some reason, like they always have to do something alone. However, this this resonates with you okay and also mirroring each other it could be something you did to your partner in the past now they're doing to you so it's i mean it's i don't want to say tit for tat but that's karma so where judgment's also karma it could be like oh well you did this and it was okay but it's not okay when i do it so now you need to accept it like i needed to accept it we talked about it now let's move on shall we okay 
girl with a snake, empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used in able boundaries. Okay. Let's see. Okay, then we have runner. So it's runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So this person, you or them, somebody was running away. Somebody felt like they were being charmed or used. Somebody, we have empath here, which I believe we already had here. So empathy is coming up twice. So someone is really understanding of like the situation in the relationship, but it still doesn't make it okay. You still have to, you know, learn from it. Don't do it. Talk about it. Accept it and move on. So don't keep throwing things in someone's face either, I'm hearing. Like if this is something from the past and you did communicate about it and you did accept it and you, you agreed to let go, then don't keep bringing it up. Let it be, okay? So see here, soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract, life purpose. So you guys are meant to be together and work this out. It just, whoever is, is maybe harboring some bullshit, you have to let it go if you already agreed to let it go. I know it's easier said than done, but, but it is meant for you guys to be together and work this out. For those of you that this resonates with, okay? The dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, heal. Okay, so this is just more confirmation of the other oracle cards and the tarot that came out. Okay, so let's see. What other messages do we have for you, Virgo, regarding your love life? Okay, what other messages do we have for Virgo? Okay, that's enough. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, earlier disappointments were just rehearsal for the great stuff coming your way. So the past is the past. Leave it alone. Maybe you're the one that can't let go of the past because you're afraid that it may be repeated in the future. So just whatever pain and suffering you dealt with in the past, just leave it in the past because there is great ahead of you. This person is your soulmate. Okay, sometimes the good is hidden. You are destined for greatness on the wings of love. So yeah, this is, sometimes the good is hidden. So maybe right now you don't see it, but you are destined for greatness on the wings of love with this person. You just have to release that negativity. You have to release whatever it is that you're holding that's keeping you back from moving forward with this person. What would love do? If they loved you, if they once loved you, they still do. So if this is somebody that maybe hurt you and you're thinking they don't love you the same or because they you hurt them and you're like, well, they don't love me the same, they do still love you though. If they're still around, they do still love you. And then pucker up buttercup because there's a lot of love coming your way. Okay, so that is all I have for you, Virgo. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Peace and love, and I will see you in the next reading.